Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, we have an Elnico 5 uh, Cajon pickup. Now, there's different types of pickups out there for Cajons, and this is actually a pretty common one and very simplistic. Watch out for the reviews you read online. Um, <laughs> I'm suspecting some people don't know how to plug things in or they're plugging into the wrong kind of source uh, for sound. I have no idea. Um, you will find that probably what could happen, not in this model though, but in other models, you may need phantom power, which means a TRS to XLR to a PA board that has phantom power. In this case, this particular pickup, it's an Elnico 5, does not require phantom power. It doesn't matter if it's on or off, it makes absolutely zero difference. Um, you can go TRS into your board with it, or you can just use a regular amp cord, go into your board that way via a DI box, uh, direct into a either a drum amplifier or a PA powered amp, uh, like powered speaker. Um, bass, uh, yeah, or, okay, let me start over. Bass guitar amp, keyboard amp, or a powered PA speaker or PA system. So if you play cajon and you're in church or you're in a band and you're playing live, you plug into the PA, right? So then the sound engineer can uh, balance your sound out. Anyways, there are no instructions with these things. Um, that's a real disappointment. However, if you search Yama, um, Amazon's website, you may find one of these pickups that looks like this, uh, very similar actually. And uh, they actually show a back picture showing that the jack is sitting down below the back sound hole. Okay, now I have gone ahead of time to save us time on this video. Um, I will not be fast forwarding, so pay attention to what's happening here. And uh, you'll hopefully be able to do this correctly. Now, I'm starting out with a... 330 second drill bit and I'm just going to drill a small little pilot hole but I've already measured out one inch from the bottom. Now there's a square plate that this port set, sets in. Okay this is like a tuned port thing. It has a lot of extra boom right um, and you got to be below this big fat ring so that the pickup can actually sit away from that hole. So we have to have it just down below it. We don't want to have it too close up because we run into that other board and we only have so much room to play with with this pickup even for thickness because when we take off this top collar you'll notice you'll have a nut on here and there'll be some washers this part is fatter than the top part and I'm going to drill the top part first before I go too far with this because I want to make sure that I only have to use the, the shorter section I may have to use the bigger section I don't know. There's no instructions, and I couldn't even find anybody even on YouTube doing a how-to install on this kind of a pickup for a cajon. So this is going to be a first for everybody, and I'm sure I'm going to have a little bit of a blocked view for you guys. I apologize for that, but this is a one-shot deal too. Um, but I can show you a little bit about what's going on in here, so you know. And uh, so what I've done is I've taken a tape measure, and there's the the block, instead of putting it the block square this way, they kind of did it so that there's a point there, point here, point there, point there. That's stupid. It takes away a lot of space there, but I get it in another way too. So I've got my, my alignment with my, uh, my pen, so I'm dead in the center of this, this tip, so I'm dead center with the sound hole, which is where I need to be. I've got that marked out, so that part is good to go. So what we're first going to do is drill the pilot hole and of course I don't have a board underneath so I got to do this on my lap so that the drill bit can go through. You want your drill on a slow speed too and you're going to go right in the middle where you put your little X mark or your mark and you're just going to let the drill just gently feed down. Now this is MDF that we're going through as well so be careful MDF can actually fracture. Um, and as you'll see at the back here, we've got a little bit of that going on, which is fine. So now we're going to flip it this way on here, and we're going to start drilling. So I'm going to go up uh, probably a couple more sizes up from that. And i got to be careful when I get to my next size 
I'm going to have to go to the larger hole because otherwise I could tear and go crooked. Um, so this next size drill bit I'm using is a 730 seconds. And don't push hard down on the drill because that's how you fracture stuff. Just let the weight of the drill do the work. Okay. Now the next drill bit we're going to use is going to be 1130 seconds which may or may not be our final size. Now I just got to figure out where to put it. There it is. So now we gotta check with our pickup. And yep, we're gonna to have to go to that next size up, which is going to be 2364. And there's not a whole lot of difference, but there's just enough. Now, if this doesn't quite do it, I cannot go to my next size. I will need a reamer if this does not size up right. Looks like I'm going to need my reamer. So I got to go get my reamer kit. So this will be instant for you guys either way. Okay guys, I have my reamer out. Now this is a tapered reamer that I'm using. And I got to be careful because uh, I'm going to have to do this a little bit on each side at a time. Now this you'll have to put a little bit of pressure on. Didn't need much. So, what we need to do with this is grab our bigger washers. That's a smaller one. So what I'm doing here is I'm adjusting with the washers because I'm going to have a little bit more crush point uh, to snug it. You actually have to, uh, let me show you this. So you have to adjust this nut here with these two big washers on because they're going on the inside. And you, you want enough sticking out here that you can get on the one 
washer and nut and then your, your ring at the end. So that everything's going to end up, you do your final tightening back here to really pull it snug. So that's what I'm trying to go for here. And uh, I want to see whereabouts it's going to actually stop at. So that looks pretty good there. Now I gotta test the last washer and nut because these are my final pieces to go in. And uh, okay, we're still pretty good there. So first our washer. So we've got our washer and our nut. So I'm going to find a uh, socket that's going to fit the back of this. Perfect. All right, now here's a piece of advice um, Loctite. Blue Loctite for a blink. Once I turn that on, yeah, that will be good there. Perfect. All right. So we want we want Loctite on here because you know in and out with a cord, if you're doing that a fair amount, um, they can loosen things off. And pulling the back pulling the front panel off again is going to be a pain. So if we Loctite this ahead of time, then we're uh, going to be okay. We won't have to worry about anything working loose. You don't have to let this stuff sit and dry first. In fact, I probably wouldn't. You can also use Teflon tape if you want, but that stuff doesn't work as good as Loctite does. Okay, now I want to tighten down the washer inside there with the nut. And for that, I'm also going to use a little bit of Loctite inside here as well. And I'm just going around the top edge of the nut. It'll soak in through the threads either way. And it's got to lay down this way for a little bit anyways because i got to put the top back on. <coughs> Which brings me to a point on the tops. Um, there's a lot of screws. <laughs> Take them off and put them back in by hand. Do not use a drill because 
we all have a bad habit when we're trying to use a drill where we tend to push in as well because you usually kind of have to a little bit but that can get a little out of control and you know people try to do it too fast you'll strip the threads in in the wood or if it's an MDF frame in this case we have a uh, wood frame MB, MDF body um, but either way you still don't want to strip those wood threads out either um, and you will notice once you get enough threads out it'll kind of prang up a little bit and that's normal but your back end even once you get all the screws out if this does not just come right off um, like it didn't for me somebody at the factory had a couple little spots of glue on these these two over here and I had to carefully go across with a, uh, a blade uh, in which case um, it should be kicking around here someplace but uh, it's, a, it's just an exacto blade and you got to be very careful because you don't want to cut into your panel at all you just kind of want to lift that edge up a little bit and uh, let it pull I can't for the life of me figure out where because I didn't take it out of here um, I was just going to show you the knife that I was using for this. It uh, seems to have varnished on me. Not inside the machine. Uh, well, anyway, okay, so, um, you know the knives that you, you just pick up a utility knife and it's got, you know, the little break-off blades. Stick the break-off blade out a couple of inches and just lift where you need to and just gently kind of pry, pry, pry. Don't pry with anything else, okay? Um, you may have to just kind of wiggle it a little bit with a little tiny bit of pressure to break that glue free, and once you do that, you're fine, okay? So the next stage, of course, is putting the lid back on, and I will put in a couple of screws for you guys. Then I'll go finish it off, off camera, and then we'll come back on and uh, try this thing out. Now, I have already tested the pickup, so I know it is definitely a fully functional pickup. There's no problems with it. All right, it's time to test this puppy out. Holy cow, it took long enough. All right. So, again, this thing was 40 bucks and tax from Amazon. Um, there's other ones that look exactly the same that are more money. I like the $40 price tag myself, the same darn thing. Reviews are mixed, so keep that in mind. Um, but if you do buy it, make sure you pre-test it first to make sure you get a good working unit. Because one guy apparently got one that didn't work at all, and I, it can happen. Uh, anyway, so um, I've got my microphone right by my um, about mm, roughly 14 inches from my reference monitors. And I got this thing cranked up a little bit. This way you'll hear definitely right out of the speakers um, going into the mic direct that way. At some point, I'll just do a direct into the computer thing so you don't hear this in the room. You'll just hear the mic itself. So, But that's for another day. Or maybe, actually, you know what? We, Yeah, we could probably pull that off today. Anyways, you'll hear definitely a sound difference for sure. Anyways. sound effects too so if you've got sound effects on your board or you want to plug a sound effect device of some sort be it a even a guitar pedal sound effect could work well you can do some pretty crazy sounds either ways all right so we're going to stop this we're going to go to the next section i'm going to go direct into the computer uh, so you won't hear me talking at all and then the video will just end i won't even say goodbye i might wave and that's about it